Okay, today I'm going to show you how to create a free e-commerce site using Weebly. I have a sample site set up. Now the first thing you want to do is add your company title or logo. Now the, the plain text they have here doesn't look too good, but there's a way to change that. Alright, first I'm going to add a logo. Now my logo has a transparent background, I suggest you do the same. Use like a photo editor. So you see there's no background to my logo, it just blends in with the theme. Now we can edit that further. Move the logo around, and you can add text. That's what I'm going to do. Let's move it here. All right, bald, make it bigger, add glow. Have several other things you can do to change the opacity. All right. Save. And if you didn't want a logo there, you can just go ahead and remove that. All right. Save. Alright, the next thing we're going to do is uh, change the banner. You have several options here. You can you can use a landing page. This is style. You can use no header, short header, tall header. I'm going to show you tall header. Edit image. image now they tell you the size here so you can um, you can edit an existing image you have or get an image that is the exact same size 960 by 255 that's for the, the big header Okay, and you can save to all pages or save to this page only. I'm going to use uh, this page only. Save. All right. Now, if you don't want a header, if you want something like a slideshow, there's a way to do that. I'm going to use no header, multimedia slideshow. You can choose thumbnails on the bottom, numbers on the bottom, thumbnails on the side. I'm going to use this one with no thumbnails. Continue. Now the trick to having a good slideshow is using images that are all the same size. So I'm going to use three images that are 900 by 300. Now you can hold control and select multiple. And then you can link each image to the actual item page. I'm not going to do that right now. Okay, save. Now you have several options here navigation style, thumbnails, numbers, none. Transition style, fade, slide. I'll use slide. Auto play on. You can do the speed. I'll do uh, three seconds. Spacing. None. Okay, so you see it slides and everything's the same size. If the images were different sizes, it would uh, it would not look too good. Alright, so there you have it. Alright, next thing we're going to do is add products. Okay, 
so add a column I'm going to use five rows on my column. One's going to be for categories, three's going to be for products, and one's going to be for my best sellers. All right. Add paragraph here, categories. Okay, now you can highlight this and link it to another page on the site. So you can link it to the, to the item you're selling. I'll show you how to do that later. All right. now we're going to add items, revenue, product block. image now we can actually change the size of this here we can do small regular large or regular block so I'm going to use and you can change the price here I'm going to add more product blocks now this is my home page so I'm going to showcase my products here I'm not going to have um, like all phones or all laptops I'm going to show show one or two of each item each category alright so I'll go ahead and put a iPad Best sellers category here. So you can either use title or paragraph. Go ahead and use title for this one. Best sellers. We can just add regular images here under it. You get the idea. All right, now we can move on to a products page. So I'll go to pages. I'm going to add a page. Now I'm not doing a blog or an external link, so I'm just going to do a standard page. And this one's going to be labeled cell phones. Add another one for. Laptops, another one for iPads. Now we can change the layout here. I'll do a no header, laptops, no header, cell phones, no header, and I'll edit the page. Now right now this site is not published, but everything you do is automatically saved. And if you want to create a backup just in case, you can go to settings. 
go to archive and you can actually create a zip file of your site and they'll email it to you so you always have a backup just in case okay I'll add the title to my cell phones page Center it right, right alignment. Change the color. Okay. Add your columns. cell phones later we're going to link all these to the, the pages they belong to alright so we don't have to keep doing this on every page go to that little arrow copy to other pages or move it we're going to copy to the laptops page. We can also copy to the iPads page so we don't have to do it over again. Back to cell phones. Now we're going to add product blocks. title here okay now we do that for the laptops page and the iPads page as well now when the customer comes to your page and clicks on this picture it's going to enlarge it it's going to be like this big and that's all they're going to get and then they can either add to cart or buy it now you can change that button right here you can do a buy it now I recommend add to cart okay now if you want to make an individual page for when like when they click on this it'll take them to another page I'll show you how to do that too pages now we're gonna make sub pages under cell phones for each cell phone so we're gonna have four sub pages add, add. okay you can move each of these now when you move it right there it'll be under cell phones If you do not want these to show up in the navigation menu, you can hide them. So they'll only show up when people click on that item. Like that. Okay. Maybe it's iPhone.
mad at one of them. Change the size. Yeah, add a description here. Another thing you can do on this page here, multiple columns, you can have photos, different views of the same item. Okay, I have three. You can also do on here is add a best seller section. Put that right there. Okay, you can add photos. Add your best sellers. And there you have it. Individual item page. Now to use that that instead, you would have to get rid of this. Use a picture instead. I don't know why it didn't load up. So I would get rid of all these and put pictures if I wanted to use uh, sub pages like that. Now click here so that when the customer clicks on the image it enlarges. Or you can click it and link it. Now I'm going to link it to the page I just made on the site. Cell phones one. Okay. And then I would have to go to PayPal and make my own add to cart button and I would add it there using custom HTML. I would put it right under it and I would put the custom HTML I got from PayPal and I would put it there. Okay so I'll show you two ways you can make your your page. You can either have product blocks simple way or you can add a photo for each item link it to the sub page and you would have to make make a sub page for each item very time consuming but if you don't have to change items very often or don't have too many items you can go ahead and do that now you want to make your own buttons for those go to your PayPal account 